Good morning from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I'm on the beach here in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. As you can see, the sun just came up. This is my favorite time to get out and operate uh, a little portable. I, hopefully, uh, this morning will be a good morning for it. I've got yet another improvement, or I should say mod, to my JPC-12 antenna. It's a capacitance hat. Man, it's small too. <laughs> and it's inexpensive, cost me 12 US dollars. What does a capacitance hat do? It improves radiation resistance, which in turn uh, transfers capacitance kind of up the uh, antenna. This is really good for an antenna with uh, a coil in the middle. Also, what this thing is doing is it's increasing the, the electrical length of the antenna, much like the coil's doing. So it does a lot of things. One thing that um, I've heard that it does and I want to try is that it improves, basically lowers the takeoff angle of the antenna for DX. So if you imagine this balloon here is the radiation pattern coming off the antenna with a capacitance hat, you're kind of squishing it down and making the radiation go out. And don't worry, I'm gonna pop this and put it in my pocket. I don't want any sea turtles uh, getting a hold of this balloon here. So lovely morning here in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. I'm gonna get my JPC-12 up. I'm gonna add the capacitance hat to it. And um, let's see if we can uh, make some DX contacts this morning, stick around. Okay, here's my setup. I've got the uh, Zyga G90 with a LiPo 4 6 amp hour battery, little battery, little easy one, short piece of coax. This is actually the coax that uh, came with my uh, Radiotity HF009. I like it, it's short. I'm not using a choke, so one of the other mods that I've done to this antenna, the uh, JPC12 radial plate. I've got just four radials on it. I can get as many as eight on there as I want. I mean, as you can see, the base is another, it's another mod I've done. So everything down there is all modified and new. There's the coil. And as we look up, there it is. Fully extended, there's the capacitance hat. Okay, let's, uh, I've already tuned it and I will tell you this, the normal spot, on the coil for uh, for 20 meters is a little different. It's up a couple notches, so it definitely did some shortening of it. Hey, that's the Kitty Hawk Fishing Pier right there, Atlantic Ocean. Let's go. Uh, let's go see if we can make some contacts here this morning with the uh, modified JPC-12 and the capacitance hat on the top. This is a pretty easy install when I first. Uh, put it up just got a one little allen wrench you just screw it on the top put the little they're like little telescopic uh whips on it and just extend them out so here we go let's try to make some contacts well the 20 meter band is just flat light right now it's not it's not open yet it's really just nothing happening 40 meters and i'm here in a net with some guys in, in australia on there man it's a stretch i've never done a 40 meter contact this late in the morning here on the beach but let's let's give it a try Yes, this is Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar, 20 watts portable on the beach in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Victor, Kilo 3, Echo, Kilo, do you copy? Bob, do you copy Golf Oscar? Uh, I think you copy. It was Yeah, it's Kilo 4 something Golf Oscar was calling you. The Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Portable on the beach in Carolina calling a Rob. It's Kilowatt 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. He's 20 watts on the beach in North Carolina. Okay, 20 watts on the beach in North Carolina. QSL, QSL, you are five and five, five and five on the beach here, Rob. Thanks for good to get a contact there on 40 meters. Wow, great morning. Well, that was a struggle. I don't even know if I would put me in the log on that one. He was, that was a struggle to go, uh, make that contact, but was was good to uh, try to make contact, or at least I think Rob VK3 uh, Echo Kilo heard me for a minute or so there. He did give me a four by three 
uh, might have been a little generous, but uh, 40 meters, I that's the first for me here on the beach this late in the morning. Uh, maybe it, if it was still dark or uh, really at the crack of dawn would be different, but uh, it's getting a little later now. Hopefully 20 is going to open up here in just a bit, and we'll try to see how we can do on the 20 meter band. CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar calling CQ, CQ on 20. CQ, 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 Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, portable on the beach, the Outer Banks of North Carolina, CQ, CQ. Was that a Golf Mike 7 Tango? Uh, very light copy, Ecuador, Ecuador, Yokohama, E-E-Y. Can one more time with a call and try to pick it out of the uh, noise here. Yeah, Park's on the air. You're coming up now, QSB, and you're coming up. Let me see if I got that right. Golf, Mike 7, Echo, Echo, Yankee. Is that correct? QSL, QSL, I've got it. The name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. I'm 20 watts portable on the beach on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Thanks for the great DX contact this morning, my friend. Hello, CQ. Hello, CQ. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar calling CQ, CQ. K4OGO calling CQ, CQ. Anyone, anyone? Kilo one, Oscar, Whiskey, Delta. Great, to get you in the log here, my friend. You're about a five by three, five by three on the Outer Banks. Yeah, roger that. Well, thanks for coming back to me. I think the band just it just hasn't woke up yet. I made a contact on 40 a little while ago over to VK, so I'm um, waiting on 20 to come alive here for sure. I love 20 meters in the morning. Great to get you in the log there, my friend. 73. Okay, 73. Yep, it's time to come up. Hey, roger that. And wow, you came up to about a five by six that time. And I can hear you great. Thanks for the contact, my friend. 73. This is Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar QRZ. Kilo Charlie 1, Quebec Echo Mike. Kilo Charlie 1, Quebec Echo Mike. Wow, great signal. About a 5 8 here on the beach. Hey, thanks, Walt. This is uh, Steve up on Cape Cod. Uh, just uh, tuning around. Heard you uh, just got back from walking the dog. So I thought I'd drop in and say hi this morning. Hey, thanks for dropping in. This is one of those mornings when you absolutely hear nothing at all on the band and you say, what the heck, I'm going to call CQ. And wow, it has worked. Great to get you in the log. Thanks a lot, Walt. Uh, thanks for that. Wow, what an interesting morning. Propagation. A little different. Something strange. 40 meters. Which a band I don't get on a whole lot because by the time I get out here, the sun's coming up, 40 meters is starting to fade away as far as DX is concerned. It kind of becomes a domestic band, if that makes sense to you. But um, to make that or almost make that contact there to VK on 40 was pretty cool. Um, overall, though, 20, just not a day for 20 meters yet. Maybe it's going to be uh, late coming. Maybe it'll be the evening. It'll be better. So the mornings as usual for me. But when all else fails, call CQ, right? And uh, wow, well, made a DX contact by calling CQ, which is a rarity for me as well. So interesting morning. The capacitance hat, things I noticed. When I looked at the um, the scan on it, um, it the Q kind of opens up. It becomes more broadband. I noticed that right away. Uh, but when analyzing the antenna, also, um, like I said, uh, the coil, definitely the antenna is shorter and it's, um, you know, electrically longer. You don't have to use that thing on the JPC-12 antenna. You could probably use it on anything. I might try it on my um, Radioity HF-009. That has a very, very, you know, high Q there. But um, I want to try it on some other antennas. For 12 bucks, what a great thing to play with. So I'll put a link to where I got mine. mine it was from AliExpress. I'll put a link below. 
I bought it. No affiliation with them. If, this, if you want to play around with a cap hat, go grab one and do it. I, I enjoyed it. Of all the uh, things I've now, I've had really this JPC 12 antenna has been fun to play with. I've modified it. So really the only thing that's still original is the coil, uh, the, the, uh, the lower you know, vertical section and the uh, upper. The rest, the old bottom, the base plate, the radial plate, and now adding the, um, the uh, cap hat. It's pretty cool. It's been fun to play with. It really has. And I'll get out and play with it a lot more for sure and have some fun with it. Wish I had time to stay out here and play on 20 a little bit more, but I want to do some other things today. I'm going to go up, jump in the shower, and uh, me and my beautiful bride are going to go out and do a little exploring here in the Outer Banks and maybe grab something to eat. So uh, come along with us. And we've hopped across the bridge from the Outer Banks over to Roanoke Island. It's a little town of Manio. And uh, if you don't know much about the history of this, this is where the Lost Colony was. And also where Virginia Dare, the first English person born in America, 1587. I kind of find that cool. Um, and this is the Lost Colony Tavern. We're going to get us some fish and chips. And if you have my book, you know that this place is in the book, so if it looks familiar, this is my spot to get traditional fish and chips. Let's go inside. Okay, here we go. We got our fish and chips. They look quite delicious, but Allison, something's missing today, and we're, we're not happy about it. What's, what is it? There's no mushy peas. No mushy peas. They usually have mushy peas. They said uh, people weren't eating them, so they substituted it with uh, coleslaw. What is wrong with people? Uh, what is wrong with people? I know. Here's a question I have for my UK friends. HP, do you eat HP on your fries? I do, I love HP on my fries. This place has got it. Of course, of course, I'm a malt vinegar guy, so we'll have malt vinegar on the fish and chips, but um, we're gonna we're gonna dig in here and uh, we'll tell you what it's all about after we're done. Well, that was great. We ended up having to sit outside and uh, enjoy it. It is a hot day, man, it's really hot. But a um, little bit of a dis disappointment there on the mushy peas, uh, we were really looking forward to those, but I've had them before and like i said uh, going in if you uh, have a copy of my book the antenna book at the end of each chapter there's a spot that's one of them still was great the fish was fresh and uh the chips were amazing and i think i said earlier i might have called them fries but um that's my uh question for my uh uk friends uh on your chips do you do ketchup on your chips do you do malt vinegar on your chips i like hp on my chips uh, when I'm eating in American mode, I like a Heinz 57 on my French fries. I'm that way as well. So um, anyway, great day, a wonderful day. We're going to go do some more exploring here on the Outer Banks and uh, have a little bit of fun. Uh, the antenna itself, a little $12 edition, a uh, little capacitance hat, the top of the antenna, really cool. I think it did do something. I don't know if you really notice it or not. It'll be interesting. Maybe sometime I'll go out with it and then take it off. See if I can notice the difference, but uh, hey, I haven't made an, a, a VK 40 meter, uh, you know, contact portable. I've made them at home, but I've never done it portable before, so that was fun as well. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me, and um, if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.